hello biologist so if you guys are looking towards to make your career in drug discovery and designing but afraid of all those tedious and time consuming experimental process so not to worries cause using the computational power and high throughput screening uh, we can also solve the problem related to drug discovery and make our career in drug designing so i am dr prakriti singh a computational biology scientist in biotechnica is going to deal one of the topic that is drug designing using molecular docking so molecular docking is a technique that we use to perform the virtual screening or we can say we use this particular technique to screen the number of ligand that can act as a drug molecule for any kind of disease so let's start the today's topic so before starting the molecular docking let's get a brief idea about the drug discovery and where and how we can apply this computational power or we can say where we can apply this molecular docking technique so drug discovery is very complex and tedious process that takes to, for a particular drug to come into the market it takes around uh, 15 to 20 years so how this uh, what are the steps involved in these process this drug discovery process so that it is going to take this much of time so during the drug discovery or development process firstly we have to identify our disease we have to isolate that particular protein that is going to play an important role in that uh, disease then we are going to find out that a lead molecule that can act as a drug that are having the drug like properties okay then we are moving ahead with the preclinical testing under the preclinical testing we try to uh, check the effects of these kind of drug into different uh, organism model organism that can be mice monkey or anything then once it going to pass the preclinical testing then it comes for the formulation then further it is come to the human clinical trial then fda approval so during all these scenario it takes around a uh, 15 to 20 years but when we are going to apply this computational biology based virtual screening uh, uh, so where we are going to apply this computational biology based virtual screening in the isolation of protein and the finding the correct lead molecule so we can reduce the time of this uh, two to five years from uh, to two months using our computational biology based vir virtual screening so in this computational biology based virtual screening we are going to apply the molecular docking technique so how we are going to apply the molecular docking technique firstly we will isolate our protein and we will find try to find out the list of molecule from different databases that can be the pubchem cambel and if we want to move ahead the phytochemicals then we can use the mpat and dr duke such kind of databases we can use to take the hit molecules and after the optimization of these compound we are going to check the interaction using the molecular docking technique so using this particular technique or we can reduce the time frame of this drug discovery pro process and we can find out the suitable candidate for drug like candidate for our study so how we are going to perform molecular docking and what is this molecular docking technique so basically this molecular docking technique we required our receptor that receptor is most of the time is going to be our protein molecule and then this protein molecule we can identify from pdb database and from where further once we get this receptor molecule we are going to uh, uh, create this uh, we are going to make this receptor useful for our do docking studies for that what we are going to do we will try to remove all the um, uh, water molecules uh different uh, heteroatoms and uh, these things we are going to remove from this protein and then we will make our protein ready for virtual screening process or molecular docking then what we required we required the ligand molecule 
we, uh, once we will get the ligand from different uh, databases, we are moving ahead with the their screening process. And these ligands should be optimized. And with the uh, once this is going to optimize, it is going to be fitted into the uh, pocket of our protein. So for that, we have to identify the binding site. And once we get the binding site, this molecule, this ligand molecule should be the uh, should interact with the protein molecules and when it's get the perfect binding site it is going to be fit there just like our lock and key method just simply like um, uh, how keys are going to fit into the lock and to open that particular lock or close so likewise our ligand is going to activate or deactivate our protein so that it is going to impact our or uh, in disease progression so what are the steps for this molecular docking so for these molecular docking we uh, firstly we need a target and once we get the target we have to prepare our target so how we are going to do uh, the preparation so likewise we are going to add the remove the water molecule we are going to add the hydrogen atom and further we are going to uh, remove all the hetero atom once it's going it's prepared we are going to save it in the pdb format then we, what we required we required the ligand molecule and once we get the ligand we uh, we have to also prepare the our ligand so how we are going to prepare the ligand we have to optimize our ligand then further we are going to add the hydrogen if the ligand is not containing a hydrogen atom then we are going to choose it roots so then once the ligand is prepared also that is also going to save the pdb format and once all these prepared file will is with us then we are going to save it in dot pdb qt format for further processes once all we are having the all the files relate in pdb and pdb qt format for target and protein we are going to prepare the grid what is the grid grid is basically to define the area where this ligand is going to dock with protein. So to identify uh, that particular area, we have to generate the grid. So once the grid is generated, we will move ahead towards the creating the docking parameters. And we will assign the different docking parameters like we how many runs uh, should it going to move ahead, number of um, docking pose, all these things we have to uh, uh, assign here then once it's completed then we are moving ahead towards the running the docking protocol and we will try to get the result so what in our result we are going to get in our result analysis portion first of all we will try to get the binding energy so uh, when we are going to perform the binding energy and accordingly we are going to set the run we will get the binding energy score that is going to be in negative and the maximum negative number is going to ha have the maximum binding interaction so that binding energy we are going to take and further we will analyze its results so from the result analysis we, what we can take from the result analysis we can take we are going to take the hydrogen bond interaction hydrophobic interaction so what kind of basically interaction is going to form between our ligand and protein so that is going to be on the basis of that we are going to be find the perfect hit mo lead molecule that are going to behave like a drug molecule for that particular receptor so i hope this video this is going to uh, video is very informative uh, for you guys so accordingly for further information or further classes you can join our biotechnica course where we are going to describe the things in very details okay thank you guys